Okay, let's have a look at these. So, first up, Dragon, the Bruce Lee story. Not a complete tissue lies, but not exactly facts. So, I've got a low budget one as well. Look at that, five ninety nine. dollars The full video release, pretty much exactly the same, apart from the labels. Poor Eddie Murphy, Daddy Daycare. Uh, yeah. Isn't the second one That's someone else? He did have some success with Dr. Doolittle, though. But not Dr. Doolittle 2. Pushed it too far, and then there's a third one, or fourth one, with his, the character's daughter. But then on to something great. Pure movie magic. Yeah, pure movie magic. Yeah, that's the one. So, Dirty Run Scoundrels. Great film with Steve Martin and Michael Caine. And they've even remade it with a female sequel. Have remade it as a female-led one. But it wasn't good. Frank Oz, directed by Miss Piggy. Dirty Dancing. So, yeah. Wish I Hear is being remade with just Jennifer, or well, sequeled with Jennifer Grey, but the other sequel that had a cameo from Patrick Swayze didn't work. Who knows? Well, the soundtrack to this one does help. Uh, so yeah, this is the original, what's it, Festron video one. Good old label there. The Doors, so this is the budget version. Put a sticker right over his face, heathens. The ultimate story of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, yeah. And it sort of did Val Kilmer in. Went a bit too method. Went full gym. Val Kilmer is Morrison, and the Lizard King is superb, says the people. Not all the people, I don't think it was a massive success. Got this nice dune on a uh, landscape. I did try watching the film again. I didn't like it when it came out, and I tried to try it again a few years ago, but what is it? It's three hours, over three hours, and I only made it halfway through. But here's the, the old Warner release. 15 certificate. Other titles are available. So, old tape. We got Dragonheart. Sean Connery as a dragon. Dennis Quaid trying to kill him. Good family fun. There's several of them, and then they've only got this a new beginning with tattoos inside. And the kid, or one of the Malcolm in the Middle kids, as the hero. Nah. No tattoos though. A few sly ones. Death Race 2000. Old Brave World release. Which is more <coughs> about. Stallone being in the film than anyone else, and he's barely in it. Another one from Stallone, Daylight. Ten minutes of footage for video re-release, which I left out of my sly one. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> all, out, all action entertainment, says the Daily Star. A 12 certificate. I don't think I've actually ever seen it, so it could be good. But... The Great Dumb and Dumber, fantastic film. Um, the re-release, or is this the original? I can never tell. Five Night Nine, probably the re-release. New Line Cinema. Ooh. Ooh, nice little hologram. Uh, got screen Classics, The Dirty Zezen. It's another long film, but it's got a great cast. Lee Marvin, Ergus, Boing Boing. Uh, Charles Bronson, Jim Brown, John Cassavetes, and Richard Jekyll, George Kennedy. Tally Savalas. To name a few. And then I got the, what's this? Re release, same picture. A few different things, that's about it. Right, uh, let's go for the Die Hards. Let's do it in order. Die Hard 1. This is the. The original, is it 20th century home and cinema? I can't remember now, I'm getting confused. Yeah, this is the smaller box re release. Yeah, then you've got Diehard 2 Fox video, this is the old one. Yeah, 
another Die Hard 2. So this is the, yeah, one of the other re-releases. And then Die Hard with a Vengeance. Unmissable, says Empire. Damn straight. I did used to have the kit bag. I sent away for it when this came out. Unfortunately, I loved it so much, it got destroyed itself. A uh, great Aussie comedy drama. The Dish. Sam Neill and set in the 60s. I recommend this one. And also this one with Sam Neill and a lot of Nicole Kidman. Dead Calm, great thriller. From there, yeah, see, produced by George Miller of Mad Max and Philip Noyce, who went on to do the Jack Ryan series. Dante's Peak. Great Volcano Thriller, I guess. And yeah, Deep Impact. Both these, both disaster films. Then we got the uh, Deliverance. Bit of a crap picture, that one. But check age now. I'm gonna see piggies and Dogma. That's a film four video. It's good fun. Cinema Club. <laughs> Kelsey Grammar, back in the peak of Fraser. This isn't actually a bad comedy. Very silly, but it's entertaining. Uh, it's the next rental from Oxfordshire Library. Deep Blue Sea. Great shark film. It's one about every decade we're allowed, aren't we? Uh, Michael Douglas. Don't say a word. I've only seen this once. Don't remember much about it. But anyway. Not seen this. Down to you. From the Prince Junior. And the Fond, apparently. Right, over halfway. Disclosure. Great thriller. Not as sexy as they think they were advertising it. It's a bit hardly basic instinct tune. Desperately seek it Susan with Madonna as Susan. Never seen it. Oops. Death becomes her. Great Zemeckis film. So put Meryl Streep off making any more special effects films. She did not enjoy it. Tony Darko, and this is the theatrical cut. Great film. Great soundtrack. Dinosaurs, the movie. If you've got pocket money, you can buy this video. It's a guild one. They're not cold blooded, they're just cool. Uh, never seen it. Don't recognize any names from it either. Dennis Strikes Again. Yeah, I think I've only got the other original Dennis on a double tape. <laughs> but I don't know if I've seen any of them. Dad, look at that young Ethan Hawke, young Ted Danson, and an old Jack Lemon. Never seen it. Draculia. Definitely seen this a few times. Another one of the awesome soundtrack. Just a budget release, and same as this Desperado. Explosive new film. Also starring Quentin Tarantino. Yep, moldy as hell, but great action. Dying Young. Weepy drama with Julia Roberts. Once a Disney film now. Dead On. Matt McCoy, Tracy Scoggins. Oh, I forgot about this one. We did our smart talk. About 90s erotic thrillers. I'm guessing, yeah, 93. This one never came up. Dark City. Yes, there we go. Hell of a cast from the Drudge of Crow. Yeah, it's a great science fiction story indeed. God damn it, there's another one. Hidden in the corner of these ones. Another 90s erotic thriller. <laughs> I have to 
should check it out one day. Right, here we go, the last leg, as it were. Drop dead chorus. Drop dead gorgeous. Uh, a very funny docudrama. No, not docu. No, comedy documentary. A spoof, whatever they're called. But yeah, we've got time for this. This is fun. Taking pot shots at the Midwest beauty pageants. Hang on. Didn't we have this already? Oh yeah, there it is. So that was the Cinema Club before, and this is the original release. Spot the difference. Oh, some details though. Here we go, here's a fun one. Christina Applegate from Married with Children. Joanna Cassidy from Blade Runner. Uh, don't tell mum the babysitter's dead. <laughs> fun comedy. Okay. Then we get to done some checks in. I can't haven't seen it, but I'm gonna say it's not good. Who did this? Rupert Everett's in it. Oh dear. Jason Alexander. Paul Rubens. Dead Man Walking. Tim Robbins directed Susan Sarandon and Sean Penn in a Death Row drama. I haven't seen it. I did see this in summer. This is pretty good. So it's Goldie Horn in a thriller. Where she finds up. Her husband's up to no good. The Deer Hunter. Winner of five Oscars, and they couldn't give it a decent poster. But this is the Screen Classics re release. But I don't think I've seen this film for a very long time, but it's not fun. I was never a fan. I'm a, I love the Muppets, but I'm not a fan of Dark Crystal. I love even like Labyrinth, but this was just a bit too dark and weird for me. Top Gun in Cars, Tom Cruise Days of Thunder, Simpson Brockhammer production. Entertaining enough. The Dances with Balls, winner of seven Oscars, best film and best director. Deservedly so. Even though Avatar ripped it off. Day after and tomorrow. Another tr disaster film. So what's that? The fourth one with a D to start with. Another good one. Dude, where's my car? Sweet. <laughs> Extended scenes. So yeah, this is very problematic, but historically funny. Can both be true. Uh, Daredevil. Good news that they're coming back in Deadpool 3. Oh, this is the uncut version, so it's a bit better. And where are we? Deadpool Society. Robin Williams. Being fantastic, Robin Williams. <laughs> Van Damme in Death Warrant. <laughs> Great prison thriller. It's actually pretty good. Well, not as good as Dolph Lundgren in Dark Angel with Matthias Hughes. I do like this film, and it's a Christmas film. You know, Robin Williams again in a cameo. Um, dead again. So, what's it? Supernatural thriller with Kenneth Branagh and Emma Thompson. Give it a go. Right, more Van Damme in Double Impact, of course. This is the Cinema Club release, I think. The last one I showed off was standard release. <laughs> Deuce Bigelow, Male Gigolo. Probably the best thing Rob Schneider's ever done. Despite all the goat jokes and stuff, it does actually have a heart to it. Right, here we go, Life to Bronson, Death Wish 4, The Crackdown. This time it's war. I thought it was war the last th three times, but never mind. Another canon classic. And finally, Death Wish 3. <laughs> My favourite of the bunch. But not because it's a great film. Because it's a fantastic film. But there we go. Addendum. Some I forgot about. Here's the old Die Hard. So this is the CBS Fox one. It's now a Disney film. Then Demolition Man. The future isn't big enough for both of them. But great film nonetheless. The other Die Hard 3. 
with the least convincing poster. But this is a different one, I guess. The original Desperado, not the budget release. And Dirty Harry, of course, the original Deadpool release. It's a big gun. <laughs> 88 minutes. And yeah, the Screen Classics re release. I don't know what the hell that post is about. That is the best they could come up with for the fifth Dirty Harry film. Never mind. And this one's only 87 minutes. So that's the D's. Oof. Thanks for watching. Here end of the lesson.